what must I do to have eternal life? The greatest problem in the world today is sin. What causes people to hate and lust and have greed? It's sin. It's a disease that we all have. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You've missed the mark. You've broken the law on your way to spiritual death and eternal death and to judgment. But Jesus said, I can do something about that. I can change your life. I can make you a new person. Jesus demanded that we make a choice. He says there are two roads of life, the broad road and the narrow road, and you must choose. There are two destinies, heaven and hell. Which road are you on? Which master are you serving? I don't have to be judged. I don't have to go to hell. I don't have to be lost. My soul has been redeemed. I'm going to heaven. But I've got to first repent of my sin and receive Christ as my Lord and my Savior. You have to repent of your sins. That means to be willing to change your way of living. You may have no power to do it. But if you surrender to Christ, He'll give you the power. How many of you here tonight are broken, fed up, but you don't know what to do? You give your life to Christ tonight and you will have supernatural help in breaking those chains that bind you. God's not waiting to judge you. God's not waiting to condemn you. He's waiting to receive you with mercy, with love, with open arms and forgive all your sins. You know, there only comes a few times in our lives when Jesus of Nazareth passes by and we have an opportunity like we have tonight to receive him. You may never have a tomorrow as far as God is concerned. There are people here tonight that may never be alive tomorrow. You may never hear the gospel again like this or your heart may not be this tender toward God. Come while you can and don't put it off. God is waiting to welcome you with open arms, to receive you as you come to him in repentance and faith. Simple and yet could be life-changing tonight. And all of heaven will rejoice 